Good morning. Welcome to a day in my life as a first year med student. Every day is different, but this is sort of how a typical Wednesday would look like for me. For the past few weeks, I've been waking up early in the morning and heading to campus around an hour before class to prep for CBL. We have case-based learning on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So today I arrived right as Starbucks was opening and picked up a holiday drink. I actually really like getting to campus early in the morning because it's dark, nobody's there, you're all alone, and it's really peaceful and quiet. If I get a drink from Starbucks in the morning, I like to get an iced coffee or one of their holiday drinks. Right now I've been really liking the ice sugar cookie oat latte um, half sweet and life hack if you bring your own cup that's 16 ounces and order a tall they'll give you a full cup if you get it iced. This mug that I have is from the brand Porter. I got it at Walks. Matches today's outfit. On Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, we have case-based learning, or CBL, which is essentially working through questions about a case in a small group for two hours. This week, the topic is diabetes, so what I'm doing is going through the parking lot questions from last time, as well as prepping the new learning issues for this session. I've recently gotten into a routine of going to the gym after class. Since we have CBL three times a week, it works perfectly with my push-pull legs split schedule. Today we're doing a push day, so chest, shoulders, and triceps. And I normally work out with two other people and it's a lot of fun because I get to learn new exercises and I also feel like I stay more accountable um, with going to the gym. Look who's in Vancouver again. Hey, For the third time. is anyone surprised? In like three months? Two like, months? I think three times in two months, but uh... No, I should just move here by this time. I know, point. guys, should I move here? <laughs> How do you like Vancouver? I love okay, it. like, okay. you already told me, but like, tell the viewers. I like it better than Toronto because I like mountains, the ocean, like nature, hiking here. Um, really good Asian food here. I feel like Toronto also has really good Asian food. But like really good sushi here, which I love. Um, and it's like warmer here. So in Toronto I'd have to wear a winter jacket, but here I'd wear like a green jacket. <laughs> But one thing I kind of can't, like, I'm not used to yet is how the sun doesn't shine here sometimes, like, ever. Like, like today. The past two days, I have not seen the sun or a blue sky, so. <laughs> but in Toronto, usually it's, like, snowing one day, but then it's, like, super blue sky and sunny, like, but it's just cold. So, yeah. Out of all of our friends, I think I see you the most. <laughs> anyway. Literally, I'm here again. Look how fire of a deal that this is. And it's so cheap. Oh. Yeah. So these, oh, I just touched it. These three rolls with the miso are like less than $12. And then I also got a little nigiri because. Okay, green leaf poo. This is way more economical. Okay, what'd you get? I got the BC roll. I had uh, this one. I'm oh, sorry, BC roll, sh shrimp something, and scallop something. So, I don't know. This is the shrimp one? Yeah. Wait, let's cheer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <you're ready? laughs> Cheers. After lunch, I headed back to campus to do some studying. Today, I decided to go to IKB on the third or fourth floor. I don't remember where it is, um, but it's a really pretty quiet study space. And I just went through the lectures from Monday and started making Anki cards. Technically, we do have lectures after CBL from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., but I personally just like watching the recordings on my own time. This is not encouraging people to skip lecture. I just feel like that's what works best for me. I normally watch either last year's recordings or the recordings once they're released on 1.75 or two times speed. And I feel like that way I stay more engaged, I can take breaks whenever I want, and I can also get through the content so much faster. Classes normally end at 5 p.m. and by then I'm able to finish all the lectures as well as get in an extra gym session. So I just feel like it's a more efficient use of my time. I just got back home from an apartment showing. If you've seen some of my older vlogs, you might know that I've been looking for a new place for like the past two months. Um, the place that I'm currently at is pretty nice, so I'm not desperate to move out, but I do want to live on my own in an apartment and a bit closer to where I need to be um, like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've sort of just been keeping my eye out, doing viewings every once in a while. Today's was like, mm, the bedroom is super tiny, I barely fit the bed, and also faced north, which is like the worst direction you can face for lighting. So I think I'm gonna pass on it, but right now I'm just heating up some frozen pierogies as well as some leftovers from yesterday. I have like no fresh produce in my fridge right now. I went back to Ontario this weekend um, for 
five days. So I ate all my groceries before I left and I haven't gone shopping. I feel like in the past month or so, I've done a really good job of falling into like a good workout routine and schedule, which is something that I've been trying to do for years. But now I really want to focus on like being more conscious of what I put into my body and just making more of an effort to cook like healthier and more balanced meals. Whenever I do have groceries, I feel like I cook really well for myself, but like half the time, I have no groceries. So I'm just like eating bagels every day or like cooking pasta with just sauce. That is one thing that I'm trying to work on going into the new year. I ordered this literally over a month ago and it finally came in today. It is some matcha powder. So I got two bags of their organic ceremonial grade matcha. I've never tried it before, but I know that they're like a reputable brand and the ceremonial matcha should be the highest quality. So I'll give it a shot and let you know what I think of it. And I also picked up this wooden whisk. I actually bought it last year and I really loved it, but it broke because I dropped it. So I got myself a new one. Nice. I want to take some time now to talk about stress. Um, how I've been feeling and how I've been dealing with it. We're currently three weeks out from the final and I'm starting to feel like the stress is slowly increasing. Even though there's a lot of content being thrown at you in med school and a lot of lectures and studying that we have to do each week, I would say typically on like a week-to-week -week basis and we don't have exams, I feel like pretty chill. I know how to plan my time and the strategies that work for me and I have confidence in being able to get what I want to do done. Even if I'm a bit behind on something, I don't feel overly stressed or overwhelmed with the need to catch up. But I do feel like during exam season, there is a lot that needs to be done. Um, a lot of content to go through, catch up that I need to do, and... <sighs> I was talking to one of my med friends about this earlier today, but one thing that I'm really trying to work on is not sacrificing my lifestyle habits just for the sake of studying. I feel like in the past I've definitely been guilty and fallen victim to that where I've sacrificed my sleep, my eating habits, my exercise in exchange for like extra time to study. And right now I think I'm just struggling to find a good balance between the two. I know I could sacrifice those things in order to meet my study goals more easily, but I feel like finding that balance is something that's really important for me, especially going on to residency or clerkship years where the hours will just get even more longer. Sort of establishing that and being able to set personal boundaries on work and life is something that I'm really trying to do right now. I feel like it's always sort of hard to explain when you're in the process of doing something because you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> I guess you'll see in the final study vlogs what I'm trying to do to sort of make light of that goal. My camera battery died, so I didn't really get to finish my train of thought, but I want to share a quick framework that I just came up with um, that might help you better deal with your stress. You can ask yourself these three questions and hopefully they'll prompt some reflection. The first one is, what am I stressed about? In this case, I'll use me studying for final exams as the example. And then you're gonna break this down further into why is this making me stressed? So thinking about the specific parts of it that you find difficult. So for example, for me, a, I've never had three exams back to back where I couldn't cram it the night before. B, I didn't really pay attention when they were teaching content around midterm week. So there's like two or three weeks where I'm not really confident about. And three, there's just so much content to go through. I feel overwhelmed. They don't know where to begin. And then the last question is, okay, but how will you deal with that? The answer for everyone will be different, but I personally like to go through each bullet point that I just listed and try to identify an action that I can take to tackle that like fear or anxiety. So for example, not being able to cram to, for back-to-back -back exams just means that I need to start studying earlier on. Not being confident about certain material means that I should allocate more study time and more buffer time for the review of those weeks. And having so much content to go through, I can deal with that by making a study schedule and planning out my time in advance. So I can show you on the screen what I sort of have right now. Um, I basically just made a calendar in Google Sheets and roughly planned out what I have to do every day until the midterm. Things that I highlighted means that I didn't finish and it carried over until the next day. Today is actually no longer Wednesday, it's next week, but I'll go a little bit more in depth with this as well as how exactly I plan my time in 
the next video or the video after that which will be a final study vlog and even though doing these things won't make your negative feelings just like go away like it's not magic i found at least for myself that being conscious and mindful of how i'm feeling and why has allowed me to better manage and deal with these emotions instead of letting them control me in my life yeah that's sort of it for today's video if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below or send me a dm on instagram um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a like subscribe down below and i'll see you all next week bye